Estuvimos conversando con Frank Healy acerca de lo que será este show. También un poco del proceso creativo de la banda, ya que vienen diferentes ciudades del nuevo álbum del grupo y de mucho más. Hi. Well, Fran, it's a great honor to talk to you. We are so happy to have you in Paraguay next November. So what can you tell me about this show you're bringing to, to Paraguay for the first time in the yeah. history of Travis? I'm, we're really, this was very last minute because we, we, we were booking a tour and then it came in and, and we, we all were just so uh, happy that, that we get to come to a new, a new place that, that we've never seen before. And I always say when a band comes to your town, it's like, if you like the band, it's like someone that you like coming to your house and you, you knock on the door and you're oh, there they come, they come around for two yeah. hours and you have a nice night and you go, and it's like that. It's like old friends. Um, and we, we're, we'll play, uh, songs that obviously if you're a fan of Travis, you, you'll know some of the songs. We'll play some new songs as well. And also just be in a room together. I think this is, it's never really spoken about enough, but we are very much a, a, a band that, that thrive on this being in the room all, all at the same time. And it's, it's like a little, a little bit to do with music, but there's a lot, there's a lot of something else going on that's invisible. Like coming together with people and and talking and 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 sharing your your thoughts and your silly ideas or whatever. So it's it's we're 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 really looking forward to it. Yeah, is there something that you like to do as a band when you come to a place that you never been into? Um, I'm a bit of a I'm a bit of a strange. <laughs> I don't know if I should I should admit to this, but I'm I'm always when I go anywhere I'm 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 a poor boy, right? I never went I never went any holidays. I ne I didn't know how to be in a hotel. Uh -huh. I just, we didn't. I was poor, so I didn't. We didn't go anywhere. We didn't go to art galleries. We did nothing. We just played <laughs> in the we played in the streets. And so, as a grown up, when I go to new places. I'm, I, I, I tend to stay in my hotel room because I just don't, I'm a little bit like, I don't know what to do. So what, what should I do? Tell me what I can do in, in Paraguay when we come. Tell me. Uh, and Fran, I want to know about Brandon Flowers and Chris Martin being part of Raise the Bar. And I don't know if you ever talked with them about how Travis in some way paved the way for bands like Coldplay, The Killers, Keen. Yeah, well, the I think um, we definitely, Travis, I don't know if we paved the way, but it seems to be the musical. This is, it would be one of, one of those bands would have gotten out somehow, and we were the mm -hmm. first ones. I remember being in Glasgow and we, we didn't have a, re a record deal, pardon me, and we were in, um, there were all these bands going around and I remember, you know, one of them would get a record deal and I'd get really sad, like, oh, we're never going to get a record deal. You know, we're never going to go into the next bit. Um, and it's what you, it's, it's kind of what every band dreams of. Um, so in the same way, Keen, Coldplay, we're all, we all just, everyone inspires everyone else. And so, having Brandon and Chris on the record um, is lovely because yeah, we, we were kind of the first, the first band out of the gates and, um, and we inspired, we inspired both bands and, but they inspire me back. Like I was talking to, I, I heard that really great song that Coldplay have out, We Pray, which I love. Um, and I, 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 I texted him, I texted Chris to say, man, you know, you know that feeling when someone writes a song and half of you is like, oh, that's amazing. And half of you is really upset because <laughs> they've written <laughs> a really good song and you've not, you know, yeah. and uh, he and he said, well, that's how I felt when, when you played me Raise the Bar. So it was nice.
Yeah. We're still, and, inspi- we're still inspiring each other, you know, all the yeah. fans. And uh, talking about raise the bar, but the other meaning of raise the bar, there is a conscious thing that to say, we're going to raise the bar on this new album, on this new tour mm-hmm. in some way. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, the, the truth of the matter is that um, a few years ago, we changed our, our um, we had a manager and we changed it. And for a long time, up until that point, we had a, there was a certain thing that we did. And then there was a lot of people on our team that were really, um, how can I say, encouraging to, to, to be, just be who you are, you know, do it, you do your, be you. And and, yeah. and this really helps artists. And then they, as, as a career goes on, people go away and people move away and other people come in. And, and it's just, it's like a, an environment to be creative in. And we weren't in the right environment to be creative in. So we changed it. Um, and we one of the big parts of that was getting rid of our manager. And, um, and then getting our band back to us, you know, like we found ourselves again. I mean, I'm having fun again. I'm dyeing my hair stupid colors again. Um, um, the shows have been amazing. The the creativity has been astounding. The, but it's it's when I say astounding, I mean it's been fun. It's it's been like exciting again. Um, mm-hmm. so it's been really really good. So yeah, absolutely. It's it's definitely raised the bar. We're trying to raise the bar. We we have raised the bar. Yeah. And and what are you expecting from this tour in, in, in Latin America? I don't know if you feel the, the audience here different from other parts of the world. Well, I don't know. Glasgow, Scotland. I don't, have you ever been to Scotland? No. Right. So it's quite a similar, well, maybe in Glasgow more than anything where I'm from, when people go out to a show, I, when I was a little boy, my grandfather said to me, when all of the singers like Sinatra and Tony Bennett and Nat King, all those guys came through Glasgow, they loved Glasgow because if Glasgow loved you, you were like, the you know, like god they were, the people just went crazy for it but if they didn't like you oh my god forget about it they would they would let you know you know they would throw lettuces at you or you know tomatoes <laughs> so we have a very passionate people in glasgow and i think what i've noticed in in, in central and south america is that there's a similar passion for life for music um, and I don't know why that why that is. I think uh, both countries are maybe rich in the things that money can't buy, and and poor in the things that money can buy. And mm-hmm. when that happens, people celebrate life a lot more. You know, they they want to have a good time, and they're like, "Fuck yeah. it." And and I think so. We're a band from a, a similar kind of atmosphere so when we come to any place that that is the same as our where we come from it it goes crazy it's always really good because like we go on every night and we play we play like it's the last show we're going to play because you never know you never know it's maybe your last show so it wouldn't be shit if your last show was really like (laughs) no so we go out and we like I sing like it's my last show. We play like it's the last show, and it's it's lovely. I, I I really I'd love to see a Travis concert. I've never seen one, <laughs> but I, I, I feel that we make a very special connection. Um, I I definitely make us. I, I have a. I love to talk to people and and just feel everyone's uh, feelings, and uh, it's a really cool job. Yeah. Well, Fran, it was great to talk to you. We have to wrap this interview. But I don't know if you have one message to the, the people here in Paraguay. Um, My message to uh, Paraguay would be sorry that it's taken so long to come to see you. Uh, we we really uh, we can't wait to, to get up on stage and, and play these songs that, um, for you and, and 
We'll see you soon.